Welcome back to Trains and Planes, where we will talk about the Lionel Legacy system. All right, I realize I've already got a video on the Lionel Legacy system where I talk about everything it requires to put together the Lionel Legacy system. And, you know, it's gotten a lot of views, but, you know, really, I wanted to do another one because, 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 because. All right, so. Let's talk about what it took to originally get the Lionel Legacy system to connect. So, originally, if you remember from that first video, I bought the Legacy system and my powerhouse. And I've got them right inside here. There's my Legacy system and there's my powerhouse right in there. Kind of hard to see because it's dark in here. I need to get those lights in here. Ah. I've got the lights. I just need bulbs for them. We originally had halogen bulbs in them and it literally was so hot, it was scorching the wood on the inside. So this is what I got. I found out in that first video, apparently it's been very entertaining. A lot of people liked it. And it started with, uh, you know, me getting the legacy system and the powerhouse. And you know, I did the unboxing and I was like, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at it and get them plugged up. And I was all excited. And I found out that there's a little smart connector on here. This, uh, what do they call this thing? I'm showing the manual because I've got everything plugged up already and I don't want to unplug it. But basically, there's a cord right here that fits into here. That is, you know, it does not plug into the legacy set at all. Now I remember seeing a video by one, I guess 14 year old guy, and he was demonstrating how he hooked up his power master uh, to his powerhouse to his legacy system, and it was only one wire out to the track. So I was like, okay, great. All I need is one wire. So I cut one wire and I got it set up and ready. And then I went to hook this whole thing up on the video and I found out that this does not plug into this. It does not happen. This, since this does not plug into that, I, there are almost no videos on how to get this whole system to work. There are a couple of videos on how to hook up the Lionel to the MTH, but I kept telling myself there's got to be a system that Lionel has figured out where I don't need to spend $450 to get the uh, you know, MTH DCS system and hook all that up. And then there's like three more attachments now you have to get to make them a hook up and create a wireless thing. If you look at it this way, the TCS system for the uh, MTH has now gone up about 175 bucks. So it's a lot more expensive. Okay, now the only videos I found is there's one by a 14 year old guy, there's another by a 14 year old guy, then there's one by uh, a auto mechanic uh, from Utah who is in his 30s and I I've watched every video I can find on how to hook up a Lionel legacy system um, what I thought was the greatest about the guy who was mr. fix it or whatever it is do-it-yourself guy uh, from Utah I thought actually his was actually very enjoyable because he did something that I thought was absolutely impossible and that is you take the standard Lionel starter track system. You plug that into the wall wart and plug it into the wall. Then you plug in the one wire for the Lionel Legacy into your track. And I thought, that's not gonna work. Next thing I know, he's running, you know, a legacy train on his system, uh, on his, you know, dining room table. And I'm like, that, that, that doesn't work, that's impossible. But anyway, okay, so let me explain what you need first to get this going. Obviously, first you're going to need the Lionel Legacy system. That's this thing right here. I would recommend also a power supply strip like that right there that you're going to plug everything into. Okay, you need the powerhouse right there. All right, here's the last step of the equation. All right, so here's what I need. I've got my Lionel Legacy right here. You can tighten up that antenna so it's not always falling. That's always, it's kind of annoying to me. All right, it comes with this cable. That cable right now is plugged into absolutely nothing. I don't even need to have that on there right now. But I've got it there for later um, because I can take this end right here 
and I can plug that into a USB adapter and plug that into my computer, I can update this system to the latest firmware, <coughs> which is very, very, very handy. Moving right along. Now, the last thing I got was the Lionel Power Master. Now, that came in last December. That was part of my December order from Train World. Now, I remember showing that unboxing and talking about how great the Power Master is. It's in place right now, and I don't have the lights in there, so I'm using my manuals to show this off. But, you know, I'm going to show you in a second how all this hooks up and how all this works. Really simple. It's unbox this, set it aside. You're going to want to read this thing eventually. For right now, forget about it. Forget about it. <clears throat> All right. Then you need a Lionel Legacy Power Master. Not just the owner's manual. You actually have to have this thing. Which was good because I picked this thing up for uh, it was like $80. Normally it's $100. <clears throat> I bought it. So as soon as this video goes up, if Train World still has it on sale for $80, buy it. Buy it now. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Okay, it's because you want to buy this thing uh, while it's on sale because that'll save you 20 bucks. And anytime you can save 20 bucks, it's going to be awesome. And if they have this in stock and it's on sale, uh, buy that. So you need the Lionel Legacy Control, Lionel Legacy Power Master, Lionel Power House. 180 watt, that's all you need. Okay, a couple of things you'll need to know. Okay, power strip. Plug everything in. All right, here's where it gets interesting. All right, so you have the antenna. Take this out, put this on. Set this on here. Plug this in. Now over here you have one knob. Now, I got this thing about cables. I hate seeing cables. So what I'm gonna do eventually is drill a hole through this, put the cables underneath. See right in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip them, you know, with some U-shaped nails and uh, tack them to that. There's no reason to have all that wire sitting there. This plugs in. This is your power supply. This is the serial cable. Again, you don't need this right now. This is the post. This is the one wire that comes out of here. I got that one wire running right up through there. Ugh! comes out and what it does is it connects to the rail here so and then these are the other two cables that are coming from the power supply so let me show you that all right so this is the powerhouse there is a cord that comes out of here and basically it runs around and I've got it just draped everywhere because again I'm going to drill a hole underneath here and I want to staple those to the bottom of this to get these cords out of the way because they're driving me frantic. All right, last but not least. So, powerhouse connects to here. Set this switch, if you have the 180 watt one, you set this to 180 watts. They don't sell the 135 ones anymore. This, that was basically for people who are on a budget. I think they just decided, yeah, it's really not much of a savings, let's just go ahead and do this right. So. Make sure all my cords are plugged in. I would hate to be losing this. All right, here is the Power Master. The two cords, the two wires here, A is the red wire, B is the black wire. Take that and connect that to your track. Now, it's real simple. The I think I've got the A in the center. On the outside, let me see. Let me take a quick look. A is in the center on my layout. U is going to the inside rail. This line here from this post is going to the outside rail. So just so we are clear on what it is, or maybe I'm saying that backwards because I tend to, be, I'm left-handed, so I tend to think opposite of most people. You'll see on this that there is a line where it's connected, one line connects to one of these, one line connects to one of these. The one that has nothing connected to it, that is the one you hook the Lionel Legacy wire 
from that post onto here. You are now almost done. You've got everything set up. Incidentally, looking at my train layout, can you tell me what time it is? I know I can. That's an actual working clock. I can't believe everyone isn't buying those. Those are just amazing. The only downside to it is if you're doing fast clock stuff, which most people aren't doing operations and fast clock on Lionel trains. I haven't been yet. I've been just been running trains, but we're there, we're there, we're there. The only thing you need to do now, you're taking these all out of the boxes, you set them up the way I showed you, you ran the wires to the track. This, by the way, is a terminal section. It came pre-wired. I just took the red wire. <clears throat> I didn't move them for where they were. The red wire was in the center and the black wire was either this, this leg or it was this leg. I don't know. The only thing you need to do now is, and this is one of the things the 14 year old kid t said, now we, the 14 year old kid said, you wanna go to page 10 and do the legacy system control system setup right there. Before you operate the Legacy Power Master with the Legacy Control System, you'll need to set the device type, control mode, and assign it a unique ID. I basically just did this live on a video while you guys watched. Connect the U-terminal of, of the base to the U-terminal of a Power Master to the outside rail of the track. I already did that. Plug the Legacy base and turn the power on to the Legacy Power Master. Set the program run switch on the Power Master to the program position. I'll try to drop a little... Uh, thing right here that shows me doing all that plus ENG or TR on a cab 2 remote control don't have that but here we go ready I got it set for TR that's my power and that's all that is all you have to do. I got to do a lot of editing on this. It's really funny because it's nearly impossible to get one of these videos <clears throat> down to 24 minutes. Everybody says, I don't want to do a 25 minute video. And then what's it take? It takes 25 minutes. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully this was a little bit easier to understand. Sorry, I really, you know, I'm going to have to edit this a lot, which I just can't seem to break out of the editing curse. All right, so I'm going to run some trains right now, and you have a very pleasant day. Hopefully this helps you. It's very easy to do. So now you just run this. All right, so I'm going to run some trains and have fun, and you all get to do whatever. But now you know how to hook up your Lionel Legacy system to the Power Master, to the Powerhouse, get power to your track and you can save hundreds of dollars because now you don't have to buy the MTH system. The only reason you would need, don't get me wrong, the only reason you would need the MTH system is if you want to take advantage of all the extra little doodads and whistles that you can get with the uh, MTH system. It's very. This is very easy. To me this is a very easy system. So. There you go. Thanks. Well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next time.